your boy Polo and you tuned in to another video on Lace Lock. And today we're gonna be doing something kind of different. Still be painting, but it's the first time doing it like this. And it's another pair of shoes that I believe I got for the cheapest for the for the condition that they're in. Alright. Today we'll be working on some all white harachis. This is what they looking like. It's pretty clean. Y'all ain't gonna believe the price. I'm gonna reveal that at the end when we get finished. That's probably the worst part, but that's nothing. I'm gonna give out a little hint. They ain't gonna look. Most of it is not gonna be white no more. All right, let's get into it. All right. These are the materials. Well, the paints we'll be using today. Angela's Fire Red. Angela's Neon Lava Orange. Angelus Sunset Yellow, Angelus Flat White, Too Thin and Too Soft. All right, before we get started, I'm explaining to y'all what all I'm gonna do. First, like always, we're gonna remove the laces, clean the shoe up pretty good. It's really not that dirty, but we're gonna clean it anyway to make sure the surface is clean. And then these leather parts and these hard parts like this and all this, I'll be repainting white where it's needed. And I'm going to have to repaint this part right here white, but that's nothing. And then the new part, something I've never done before. So we'll take this journey together for the first time. I'm going to start red in the back to about right here. Then we're going to fade into the orange. And that's going to go till about the red probably stop about right here at the tip of the tongue. Orange is going to be in the middle section of the shoe. Then we're going to finish it off with that yellow. And it's all going to fade. It should fade anyway. But we'll see how it goes for the first try. Yeah, I probably won't repaint the bottoms. Probably stop about a quarter of the way into it. But yeah, let's get started. Got the shoes clean, got them wiped down with acetone on the parts we're gonna be painting. I decided I'm, I'm gonna paint this part where the Nike go around because it's starting to become a little off white color. And then I'm gonna repaint the whole bottom midsole because this part is yellow and I ain't want it to be two different colors of whites right here. So I'm just gonna paint this whole bottom. And the only part I gotta paint white on the cloth is that one. All right, everything else looks good. All right, we got everything set up. Got our airbrush. Got the flat white Angelus and the two thin so to go through the airbrush good. Got the first shoe we're gonna be working on. We're gonna be hitting this. We ain't gotta worry about taping it or anything because well, the whole shoe white, so it really ain't gonna matter. And then we're gonna be painting over everything else. So let's get started painting. Got this spraying the clear coat on them on the parts we painted. Like I said, I went probably like a quarter of the way almost around the edges of the bottom just so it looked like it was already white. Here's the other one. I painted that as much as I could, but then as I was painting, I realized it's gonna be red up until here, so that really don't matter. Here's the rest of the shoe. Alright. Like I stated earlier, we're going to start at the back of the shoe with the fire red. Right there. Then we're going to move into the lava orange. Right there. And then at the tip, it's going to be the sunset yellow. And I am just painting the, the soft parts. Alright. Let's get everything set up and get started painting. 
Well, actually, first, let's get it taped. All right, we got the shoes taped up. It's probably one of the hardest tape jobs I ever had to do. Not even going to lie. I've been doing this for like probably 45 minutes or an hour, but I finally got it completely taped up. All right, we're going to get started first with the darker color, the fire red, and then we're going to move our way forward. Let's get started on it. y'all we back and before i show y'all the final product like in all my other videos i'm gonna reveal the price just so you can have it in mind before you see it i paid 25 dollars for these hirachis in the condition i had them in before i fixed the white and before i did the color change on them and just keep in mind this is my first time doing a color change like this so yeah <laughs> 